What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you? All right, uh, Potterheads. Some of you are gonna. Some people are just gonna be mad no matter what. Uh, but some people are gonna be really happy about this. I, on one hand, are really. I'm really happy about this. I think this is great. I am quite excited for it. I think it's gonna be really, really good. So here's the thing. They have picked their showrunner and director for the Harry Potter series, which they announced this uh, this week was going to be on HBO, not a not Max. And it was going to be an HBO original. Now, the first thing I want to say before I talk about who is going to be in it, the first thing I want to say is I, I honestly believe going to HBO instead of going to Max is a great decision. I think that HBO brings a prestige that I think that Max doesn't bring. And I'm not trying to crap all over Max, but I just think HBO is better. You've got House of the I've said this before. You've got House of the Dragon. You've got all these shows on there that I just think that they, t- they take the time, the money, they just they to put out a quality product. So that's what I think is going to happen here. I think it's gonna we're going to get a quality Harry Potter series, which I'm really excited for. Um, and we'll talk about the controversy in just a second. But I know that some people were not excited about it because of... Uh, you know, J.K. Rowling, which we, again, I will talk about it, and I have no uh, problem talking about it. So who have they hired, you guys? So they've hired Francesca Garinder Gerind- and Mark Malloy. Sorry I said her name crappy and not him, okay? Because, uh, but I don't care. So she was a, she's from, I think they're both from Succession. I'm not quite sure. She's definitely from Succession. And then he is from Game of Thrones. He did some, he directed some Game of Thrones. Now, what do I think about this? First off, I think Succession is fantastic. So I think that right there automatically, again, the prestigeness of it makes me think that this is going to be taken seriously. And I, even though it will be for kids, it will take the source material seriously. Um, the guy being coming from Game of Thrones, I, I didn't, uh, you know, the problem with Game of Thrones was not the directing. I mean, every episode wasn't like stellar, but overall the directing was pretty good. And I don't know what episodes this guy directed, but overall the Game of Thrones episodes were directed pretty well. Um, also, uh, she, the, the uh, Gard- Gardiner, Gardiner, I don't know. She also did, uh, worked on dark, his Dark Materials. Now, I didn't read his dark, I mean, uh, uh, read, I didn't read his dark materials and I only saw the movie and the movie sucked. But from what I understand from fans of that, those books is that the show is really good because what they did, and I, I was talking to a friend that had read the books and, and was, she was really excited about, um, the show because she did, hated the movie. Um, and she said that one thing that she really loved was they put a lot more stuff from the books into the show. And I was like, oh, good, because that's what they want to do here with this Harry Potter series. They want to take the books and each season is going to be one book. And they're going to I have a feeling the last season might be uh, two seasons. The last book might be split into two seasons, but we'll see. So um, and they want to do it so they can tell more from the book. And this is going to be an eight part uh, from what I understand, eight uh, episodes and which is eight hours, which is great if it's if it's an hour each. And I think that's great. I think it's it's fantastic. I'm super excited about it. I think this guy also had said something about the article that, and I'm, which will be down in the the thing. Also did um, he directed some Last of Us episodes or at least one. And I think he also said he's he, uh, Entourage. Don't quote me on that. I can't remember. But um, but one thing that um, I, I'm really excited about is all the information that was left out of the movies in from the books and put, especially that sixth movie. That sixth movie is like my least favorite because they left so much out. And uh, I was just like, mm, I am not happy about that. Uh, but uh, yeah. So let's talk about the controversy of this whole thing. So the controversy is the J.K. Rowling situation, because a lot of people are trying to cancel J.K. Rowling on her views. And let me just say right now, J.K. Rowling is too big to be canceled right now. I'm sorry. You guys just got to get over yourself. OK, um, and she's it's her comments on the trans, uh, you know, uh, activity going on in Wales and in the U.K., because I, I believe she's from Wales. And I know a lot of people want to crap all over J.K. Rowling. I want to just say right now that J.K. Rowling has said nothing wrong. That is my stance. 
that will always be my stance unless she comes out with something be after this recording and says something that I don't agree with. But I also just want to say that JK Rowling is doing a service to women right now. I, I standing up against stuff that is completely erasing the existence of women and to think that she is somehow not a feminist. When I think of feminist, uh, you know, I, at least the good sense um, in like the healthy sense of the word, I think of someone like J.K. Rowling. And that is why I stand with J.K. Rowling in this situation. And you may not agree with that, and that's fine. Um, you know, you're going to get mad at me and move along, fine. But, uh, you know, I just, uh, I won't go in depth into the things that I agree with what she has said, because uh, then this video would take forever. But I, I think I'm totally on her side. Now it all comes also will come down to casting, which JK Rowling, she signed a great deal. She has like, Oh, she has the final say like, uh, you know, and she helped pick these two people, which I think is great. I think getting on um, behind the, the camera talent is just as important as getting on screen talent and the on screen talent. I'm very interested in because I'm also interested in something else, but give me two seconds because I'm wondering, I know a lot of people will freak out if Hermione is black. I am not one of those people. I don't, I know, because I know people were like, those movies weren't diverse enough. And I'm all like, well, that's not J.K. Rowling's fault because she never, I mean, she does say some people are black in the, in, you know, and Harry, I do think Harry says something about Harry's pale skin. Don't call me on that. I can't remember everything. But um, I wouldn't, I would not be upset if Hermione uh, was black. Um, but at the same time, uh, I did, you know, that stuff doesn't bother me. Um, but, uh, as long as they, they hire a good actress because, um, and they don't rewrite the character like they did in Percy Jackson, like what they did with Annabeth, not the Annabeth from the books, not the Annabeth from the books. Um, I'm also interested to see in what they're going to do as far as locations. Will they still use the same locations that they do for um, Hogwarts? You know, the Oxford, they use Oxford. They think they use Cambridge. They use all these old um, like buildings and these places for like the hallways and the stairs and everything. And I'm very interested. Will they use the same locations or will they build the new ones? And a small piece of me goes, I really want them to use the same stuff because like, like the hallways from Hogwarts are just so iconic, you know, and the, the great hall. But at the same time I go, maybe changing it up is better because right now for, for me, for instance, I am reading the books with my kids. We're on book number three at the moment. And we, we finish a book, we watch the movie. And for me personally, watching the movie will give me like I, when I read the books, I had a vision of what it looked like. And, but it was from the movies because I hadn't read the books until after the first movie came out. So then for the rest of it, I go, maybe this is my, ch my children's Harry Potter. You know, we will, of course we'll watch the movies, but maybe this is what they'll grow up with. Instead of, you know, growing up with what I grew up with, the mo the books and these movies or whatnot. Although I was much older when the books, uh, when the movies came out. Um, but yeah, um, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. I know people are all like, Jake, down with J.K. Rowling. Listen, she's not going anywhere, so get over yourself. And I would just say that uh, other, uh, other than that, I think that this is going to be absolutely fantastic. I personally cannot wait to see it. And uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm, I'm I'm all on board with it. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you guys feel about this Harry Potter series going to HBO and, and getting eight episodes and finding the showrunner and a director? Do you like the showrunner and the director? Did you watch Succession? Um, you know, do you know what what Game of Thrones uh, episodes this guy directed? Don't tell me. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, but tell me what you guys think about this. And, and tell me, what, do you think they should keep the locations from the movies? Or do you think they should just find all new locations? Uh, you know, that'll be interesting to see what they do with that kind of thing. Um, and tell me who do you think they should cast as the trio, you know, or anything like that. But uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. And you can do that. You can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're new to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.